So I decided to make a film study on Xavier Collins, and I think the first thing I noticed was I was surprised and pleasantly surprised with how, like, decent he was as a player. Like, I had this perception in my head that he had, like, a bad rookie season. That really wasn't the case. I thought he had, like, a, a solid rookie season. Like, let's get into the film, and then we'll do a little bit of statistics after. Uh, we're going to start off with a play like this. So he's 25. You see him on the field. And again, this isn't going to be a highlight real level play, but watch what happens. So look, uh, right when this play begins, you see how there's a gap right there that Collins is going to try to get through to make this tackle. And as you see, Collins does exactly that. Helps get through the gap and helps make the tackle. It's only a two-yard gain, so that's a good play by a defense. Anytime you give up a two-yard gain, unless it's on a third and one, typically, it's going to be a good play. And these are the kind of things that I thought he did really well. Uh, I thought that pretty consistently, he just made the play that he was supposed to make. We also have something like this, which is going to, again, just be a good example of, you know, him doing the right thing. Like, watch, as you see, right when this play begins, he does get up to the second level well enough to, you know, block Collins, who is already moving over in that direction. So it kind of worked out. But I think that Collins, from this point on, is going to do a very good job of he's not going to let himself get blocked out of the way too much. Watch what he does. He is able to disengage with this block pretty nicely and get off the block to get over and make a tackle for, again, not much of a gain there. So being able to make just these, you know, solid tackles, not allow too much in the running game is definitely a nice quality to have for a linebacker right off the bat. Again, I think there's a fair discussion as to is it worth drafting a linebacker in the first round? Is he worth the pick that he's, you know, was given uh, or who he was selected with? I don't know. That's an interesting discussion to be had. But if the discussion is how did he play as a rookie, like he did this stuff well. This is a play that I love. And listen, if you're a high motor player, I'm sorry, that's something I like. And I know that that's kind of an intangible. And on this channel, a lot of times I talk about the tangibles, about the what are your you know, advanced statistics, how's your tape, all of that stuff. But I do love me some guys who are going to hustle because there is value in that as well. And this is an example of it where you see where he is on the field and watch what happens. So look, he's going to rush the passer basically just as like a straight up edge rusher on that play. Maybe they were inspired by what Micah Parsons was doing with Dallas to try to do it themselves. I don't know. Interesting kind of play there, though. And, you know, the Cardinals defense mixes things up from time to time. But there's not too much he can do. I actually thought he did a, de a decent job on that rep. But again, uh, does not get a pressure. Let's not get a sack. But still, fine. Uh, I'm not expecting much from an, an off-ball linebacker who's playing on the edge. However, watch how he, you know, tries to bat the pass away, but then runs all the way over and makes a pretty impressive tackle. So that's hustle. I mean, the reality is a lot of edge rushers in that position are not getting all the way down the field to make that play. The other defensive linemen, there were some defensive linemen closer to the wide receiver who did not get down there to make that play. Again, he's an off-ball linebacker, so he just he has he's going to have more gas in the tank than a defensive tackle. I get it, but still. Those high motor type plays are something that you like, and especially for a rookie who, you know, I think did a fine job doing the little things already. These are the kind of ways you can go above and beyond. We also have something like this, where what's going to happen here is that you see this concept. It's going to be a halfback screen, and Collins is the one who I have circled in yellow. Right when this play begins, Collins is going to do, in my opinion, a good job at reading this play pretty quickly and noticing where he has to go. There's a receiver who's going to try and block him. So for Collins, can't let that happen. Watch him get that inside leverage, push him to the side, and then doesn't really make the tackle too well. And that's kind of the one critique I would have of Collins is has not been the best tackler. He will miss tackles. And I think that's maybe part of why there's this perception that he hasn't been particularly great, along with just, you know, high expectations of him being a first rounder. And I think that he gets kind of tied in with the Isaiah Simmons bad rookie season, which I think Collins was significantly better than Isaiah Simmons was as a rookie. And in fact, I would say he's significantly better than Isaiah Simmons right now, even though he's, you know, a, a, a playing year younger than Simmons. And if you look at his like PFF grades, don't just take my word for it. Like they even say, like, yeah, like a 66.5 grade. Okay, listen, that's not spectacular. And we just, we didn't see a ton of playing time with him. And that's probably like the biggest knock against him other than he missed some tackles was the, the lack of playing time, 228 snaps. Why wasn't he getting on the field more? I think that's reasonable to say, but I think that he outplayed Simmons when he was on the field, in my opinion, and maybe that was just him getting used in the right you know positions, getting him, him getting used uh, and getting a, a chance to succeed. But like, again, a 66.5 grade, but you look at the two most important things for a linebacker, a 71.0 run defense is a solid run defense grade. 61.0, not quite as good. But again, we're talking about 93 snaps and it's far from abysmal. So 
to me, I think that he played fine as a rookie. And also just to talk about his, uh, you know, college stats. Again, these things do translate pretty well to the NFL. It's not quite as well as like an offensive or defensive lineman will in terms of PFF grades, but they still do a decent job at it. Of, and you kind of do see how it can do a decent job at it. Uh, his coverage was what made him special. That's what people liked about him, why he ended up getting drafted in the first round. You look at his coverage grade being a 93.0. His last year in college, that's very impressive. Uh, run defense was was not great, which is interesting because his run defense, actually, he had a better grade in his run defense last year than he did the, the year before, despite the fact that he played in the NFL last year. So that's a very interesting thing. The coverage did take a step back, though. Uh, another thing worth noting, he also missed some tackles in college, so that might just be kind of who he is, is he's not the best tackler, but he does enough else well that, to me, he's proven he's at least like a solid NFL contributor. So yeah, while I recognize that it might not be the nicest compliment in the world to say that someone was surprisingly decent, uh, I think that some people would hopefully strive for better than surprisingly decent, but... I think that that fits with Collins because I do think that he played all right. Like again, small sample size. That's definitely the thing is, you know, a little over 200 snaps. That's what we're dealing with. So we don't have a ton to evaluate there. I don't know why he didn't get uh, more playing time in specific games uh, that, you know, feels like he uh, deserved that in my opinion. Maybe they just wanted the guys who are more veteran type players to get more playing time, which some, you know, some head coaching staffs uh, like to do that, but now that I'm assuming he will get more playing time, I'm interested in seeing how exactly it will work. Like I said, uh, his run defense metrics were legitimately like solid run defense metrics. He was not a bad player in the run defense whatsoever, and even his coverage was fine, especially when you factor on he was a rookie. So yeah, you know, I mean, there's reason to believe that he can get better, especially when, you know, he was such a highly graded coverage player in his last year in college. That's what you hope that can improve. And listen, it's just difficult. And a lot of times for a young linebacker, you just need reps to really get better. And that's something that I think stunted some of Isaiah Simmons' growth as a linebacker. Although I've always kind of maintained, I think Isaiah Simmons should play safety, but they don't need safeties, they need linebackers. So there you go. But, uh, you know, one of the things that stunted his growth was he didn't get a ton of reps as a rookie. And now they've kind of done the same thing with Steven Collins. So I don't know, maybe they'll be able to uh, figure something out and figure out the perfect way to use him. They drafted him for a reason. They had an idea of what he was and they had an idea of how it was going to work. But it's interesting to see... Um, I definitely think, though, that he's, you know, a better player than maybe some people realize. He's not one of these. He's not a bust, I don't think. At least far, uh, you know, again, do you live up to the hype? That can be remain to be seen uh, as a first-round linebacker. But I, I would not call him a bust. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Xavier Collins and his first season with the Arizona Cardinals? Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.